Three metals that will change the world. All of the coal, oil, and gas that we use every day for things such as transportation, steel making, and heating are considered finite resources, meaning that if we continue to extract these resources, one day they will run out. Research shows that if production continues to grow at current rates, oil will run out in the early 2050s, gas will run out in the mid-2070s, and uranium will run out in the early 2080s. Seems daunting, right? Well, there is good news, and you have probably heard of it. There is a global push to develop renewable energy solutions that will reduce our reliance on non-renewable energy. These renewable energy solutions include solar, wind, hydro, and geothermal-powered solutions. But did you know that these renewable energy solutions depend on mining to make them happen? A critical component to build wind turbines is neodymium, used in the wind turbine's magnet. Neodymium magnets are the strongest commercial magnets and have high electricity generation efficiency. In 2015, the United States Department of Energy made a plan to expand offshore wind energy to 86 gigawatts of capacity by 2050. To make this possible, it would require 15.5 gigagrams of neodymium. The second element is lithium, which is used in lithium-ion batteries, like the ones found in electric vehicles. The United States produces only 1.2% of the world's lithium, with the majority of it being produced by Australia, Chile, China, and Argentina. Demand for lithium is expected to go from 300,000 tons a year to 1 million tons a year, which is triple today's demand. The third hero element is indium, used in the production of thin film solar panels. One advantage thin film solar panels have over conventional ones is that they can use up to 100 times less semiconductors. However, the drawback is that thin film solar panels have an average efficiency of 8%, compared to the 14% of conventional solar panels. Currently, it is estimated that there are only 6,000 tons of indium, which will only last us 13 years based on current consumption rates. As you can see, Neodymium, lithium, and indium are in short supply, yet they are in high demand, and they are necessary to continue our green energy revolution. One way we can tackle this shortage issue is to recycle our metals. To learn more about recycling metals and how you can play a part in it, subscribe to our channel for this future video. Sponsored by Komatsu.